Over the past few days, Aiden Ross has earned himself the title of the Evil Mr. Beast. He did this by hosting a series of controversial streams where he would pay his viewers to fulfill extreme challenges. Aiden Ross is a streamer who has gained a large following through his entertaining streams. Whether he had Lil Uzi Vert on stream freestyling or was just playing NBA 2K with friends, millions of people would consistently tune in to Aiden's streams. After meeting Andrew Tate, Aiden Ross promised to try and become a good role model for his young and impressionable audience. Although he would begin with what was seen as a strong start by working out more, promoting self-care, and calling out adult content on Twitch, the facade would soon crumble with more recent streams showing a much darker side of Aiden Ross, a side that contradicts the previous efforts he was trying to make and morals he was trying to uphold. Hi, I'm the Internet Anarchist, I create weekly YouTube documentaries, and today we'll be looking into the extremely controversial challenge streams hosted by Aiden Ross. On the 24th of February 2023, Aiden Ross would post a video to YouTube announcing that he would begin streaming on a new site called Kick. Kick was a site that was created by co-founder of gambling site Stake after Twitch announced the banning of live gambling streams. In the final days of February, Aiden would sign a multi-million dollar deal to stream on Kick and promote their platform. Twitch is notorious for having strict terms of servers and often not siding with creators when it comes to issues with content. So the move to Kick would make Aiden feel incredibly free. And right off the bat, it seems this so-called freedom got to his head, as one of the first things that Aiden Ross did on Kick was stream to his young audience. After a lengthy display of porn to his audience, he asked them all in chat to type how old they were. And with the floods of 11s, 13s, and 15s coming through, Aiden immediately realized he had made a fatal mistake. Chat, do y'all still beat your meat, yes or no? Wait, how old are you guys in the chat, bro? Jesus. Okay. I didn't know that. Um, yeah. All right, what episode do y'all want to watch? Following this incident, whether related or not, Aiden Ross would be permanently banned from Twitch. For Aiden, this just meant that he lost his primary audience of over 7 million followers in a single day. And it's at this point of the story that Aiden really began to spiral. On the 2nd of March, Aiden would host a stream that would cause outrage. The stream would involve Aiden Ross and his friends bringing viewers onto the stream, who would be asked to enact challenges for money prizes. And what initially seemed to be relatively harmless would soon grow into a moral nightmare. The first viewer to join the stream was attending during his work at the NBA and was challenged to run onto the court. The viewer would do so, where he'd be promptly chased down by security and fired from his job. Yo! I don't give a fuck. Yo! Oh. Is he chasing you? Yeah. Wait, stand up. Yo! <laughs> With the first challenge being relatively harmless and only the participant being involved, no one was prepared for what would happen next. The next participating viewer who joined the stream was home alone with his sleeping sister, who Aiden decided he should peel over and smash her TV. When preparing for the sick challenge, Aiden would receive several messages from higher ups at Kick telling him that he should stop. So instead of making his viewer peel over his sleeping sister and smash her TV, they came up with the great idea of pouring a mixture of spit, expired beer, coffee creamer, mustard and tomato sauce all over her, as well as smashing her TV. The viewer would ask his neighbor to come over and film the cruel prank live to Aiden's 70,000 viewer audience. You're gonna pull the blanket off her, pour it all on her face, listen. And then they're gonna be like, wake up, bitch! And you're gonna grab the bag and go, smack, smack, smack. Fuck it. Go back in the room. Katie, stop, stop, stop. She's gonna be with the bat. She's gonna be with the bat. She's gonna be with the bat. 
<laughs> Dude, keeps chasing me with a fucking bat. The unsuspecting sister who had no idea what was going on would then go into her brother's room to smash his TV before calling her family to talk about what just happened to her. But if you thought this was bad, things were only going to get worse, as the next viewer to participate in the stream was a younger looking man who was home with his grandmother and brother. At first the viewer was going to pour flour all over his sleeping grandmother, but after some thought Aiden realised it could literally kill her, so instead of pouring flour all over his grandmother, he was instead challenged to pee on his brother brother's face. But after Aiden found out the viewer's brother was a fan of Hassan Pika, he would say this. I wanna go pee in the face, okay? Okay. Alright, I gotta hide this shot. I gotta hide this shot. Hide no, no, this no, no, listen, he's a sopping? Bro, if you slit his throat, I think I'll give you 20k. No, no, okay. I'm, kidding. I'm, kidding. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Yeah, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Yeah, yeah. I, I gotta get everything ready. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. The participant would pee in a cup on stream, and right as the challenge was about to go down, the viewer's connection would drop, leaving Aiden feeling quote, blue balled. But this would lead into the next challenge, which was once again more twisted than the last. The next viewer to participate in the stream was asked to eat fresh dog feces, but after Aiden found out the participant's girlfriend was home sleeping, it was his girlfriend who quickly became the target for the prank, as Aiden would ask the viewer to cover her in dog excrement. It was also at this point that Aiden would ask participant to call him back after he'd found a quote, nice, wet, fresh piece of dog sh**. Following this, Aiden would resort to streaming slots, and this would be the point where I would make a tweet sharing a clip from Aiden's stream. The clip I posted would gain over 5 million views, as well as the attention of Aiden Ross himself, as he'd reach out in a DM to me saying, quote, I'ma keep doing it every day. It's gonna keep getting more extreme. When I start giving out hundreds of thousands, I expect you to post that too. Although the conversation continued, for privacy reasons I won't be sharing it. But Aiden wasn't joking about doing it every day and making it more extreme, as he would host yet another challenge stream and during this stream, one of the participants would be given the challenge of pepper spraying themselves, shaving their head, and drinking hot sauce for $20,000. Yo. Yo. God damn. Yeah. <laughs> Yo! 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 There seems to be two sides to the controversy. On one hand, he is giving life-changing amounts of money to his viewers, but on the other, he is also a multi-millionaire who has demonstrated in the past that he has no concept of money for the average person, as seen in this clip when he thinks the average salary in the US is 100k. So, okay, so the average salary is what, like $100,000? What? What's the, Did you just hear this motherfucker? What's the average salary? Bro. Shut the fuck up. Are you fucking crazy? What's the average salary of a human being? Bro, 30, 40K, bro. Are this thing What? Crazy. Wait, it's really 40K? Bro, bro, that's what I say. Ain't it, bro? See, that's what I say. You come from two. Well, I ain't gonna say what you came from. With Aiden planning on doing this every day and getting more and more extreme, it seems like it's only a matter of time before someone gets critically injured or worse. Subscribe if you enjoyed the video and for future updates on the situation.